Somebody asked me how do I create a fast forward effect like fast forwarding a video so I thought I will share with you how to do that but before I begin uh, I just wanted to let you know that my friend and I we were actually talking about cameras and we were debating whether before long we went talking about lenses like this uh, the advantages the, the different lenses so we came to the conclusion that So at the end of the day, uh, I guess all of us was tired from talking about cameras and we didn't really get too far with... Uh, now, I was just rambling over there. However, the idea is when you want to create a fast forward video, you want to create your uh, clips first and then there are certain sections that you want to fast forward and then certain sections you want to play them at normal speed to create an effect like what you saw just now. Now, after you have done the clip, it is actually not that difficult to just put it into your favorite video editor. Now, I use a few video editors, uh, especially on my channel over here. So sometimes I use Hitflame Express, sometimes I use Filmora, sometimes I use Shortcut. Now, all of these three video editors is capable of creating a fast forward effect like what you saw just now. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do it first in Filmora, then I'm going to show you how to do it in a Shortcut. Once you have your footage, what you need to do is to just grab that footage and import it into Filmora and then bring it into your timeline. And what you can do is actually to go to the sections that you want. Okay, so this is all the, uh, the initial reel here. So I can actually listen to this and see which are the sections that I want to fast forward and which are the sections that I want to play it at the normal speed. The video effect in... Uh, <clears throat> the other day, the other day somebody... So let's say I want to just uh, do this section over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this clip. Alright, and then uh, over this section I want to say I assume that I want to fast forward this section what I'm going to do is split this again and then the next step is actually to select this and right click or you can also uh, click on Control R on your keyboard to change the speed and duration and I want to change it to say uh, five times faster than normal so I'm just going to click on OK so you see that this clip now has been uh, shortened okay I'm just going to move this clip along and then to the sections that I want to play a normal split, I'm going to split it again and then for the next section, let's say these are the sections that I want to play at a high speed or fast forward, I'm going to split this again so I'm going to do the same over here so let me right click and click on speed and duration again let's do 5 again you can change the speed to a higher or lower depending on how long you want your clips to be so that's alright so uh, <clears throat> once you are done uh, you can actually just play and listen to this. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just doing this uh, quickly. Uh, however, you, let's take a listen to this. Cameras and Panasonic Lumix. Now, if you want to do more, you can actually split your video clips further along. Let's just work on this section here. Let's say I want to make this more realistic. You can actually add an effect. So let's go to Effects and I'll go to search for VHS. So there's VHS Distortion and VHS Rewind. So let's uh, use this. And what I want is to place it right on top of that section where I did the fast forward. And you can actually see this based on the red band over here, which tells you that this uh, clip has been fast forwarded. Okay, so you can see uh, the video effects here. There will be some form of effects. Another effect you can try is the static effect. So there is a static 1, static 2, static A. So this is quite interesting. So let's try static 2 and just place it there. Filmora is just downloading this. Okay, so let's see the effect. And as you can see, the effect is pretty strong. So you can actually adjust it by double clicking on it and adjusting the alpha, which means how strong you want that effect to be. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to do the similar effect using Shortcut. You can do the same in Shortcut, just move the playhead to the position that you want, split the clip and then move on to the position where you want to fast forward and then we can split it again here. And then next, 
what you need to do is just go to the properties tab and change the speed to say five times the normal speed okay and uh, just move this up and you will see something like this okay. to make this effect even more realistic you can just add some scratches add some things to actually make it as if your video is playing much faster and you have a V kind of a VHS effect. I'm not going to show this in Hiflin because the process is similar. I hope that this video has helped you. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing. Now I have an entire playlist here of different tutorials on Hiflin, Filmora as well as Shortcut and I also have courses down on the description below if you want to learn step by step how to use any of these three video editing software.